top 10 high potassium foods to lower your blood pressure. Are you struggling with high blood pressure? If so, you're not alone. According to American Heart Association, 116 million Americans have high blood pressure and 50% are not well controlled. And hypertension affects more than 30% of adult population worldwide, more than 1 billion people. It's a major risk factor for strokes, for coronary artery disease, and also for chronic kidney disease, heart failure, arrhythmias, and dementia. If you're seeking ways to reduce your reliance on medications and take control of your health, this video is for you. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, a birth fat cardiologist and lifestyle medicine advocate. I'm excited to share with you the top 10 high potassium foods to lower your blood pressure. I'll have a bonus tip at the end of this video. Stick around, it's a matter of life and death. Number 10, bananas. One medium banana has 422 milligrams of potassium per serving. Are bananas healthy? Absolutely. They are full of nutrients and easy on the gut. Some have called bananas a nature's perfect snack. The yellow fruit comes conveniently packaged and travels well in a lunch bag or a purse and are incredibly versatile. What are you eating when you peel a banana? A medium-sized banana contains not only potassium but contains magnesium, fiber, vitamins B and C and even protein and of course uh, carbs. In addition to helping lower your blood pressure, the fiber keeps things moving in your intestine. It's a prebiotic, promoting the growth of good bacteria in your gut, uh, lowering your cholesterol and lowering the risk of colorectal cancer as well. Number nine, soybeans. Half a cup of boiled soybeans has 443 milligrams of potassium. In addition to potassium and magnesium, soybeans are an excellent source of plant-based proteins, offering an alternative to red and processed meats. And like some uh, plant proteins, soy protein is consider complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot make which must be obtained from the diet and it's known for its processed products like tofu soy milk and tempeh and miso and uh, NATO are uh, fermented foods that are healthy for you and soybeans are a big source of dietary fiber, it supports digestive health and lower your cholesterol and regulate your blood sugar as well. Uh, they contain isoflavones that are antioxidants, that are anti-inflammatory, reduce the risk of heart disease and preventing some cancers. Number eight, orange juice. One cup of orange juice has almost 500 milligrams of potassium per serving and freshly squeezed orange juice is delightful and refreshing beverage and offers several health benefits. Orange are renowned for their vitamin C content. This nutrient plays a pivotal role in cardiovascular health. Orange juice is also a source of folate, a B vitamin. It's very important in the production of red blood cells and very important in pregnancy that may help protect the unborn babies against serious birth defects. But you have to be careful because orange juice has no fiber. If you're gonna drink orange juice, you wanna make sure that it's 100% juice it has no added sugars, has no added sugars. And always remember the whole fruit is healthier than the juice. And this applies not just to orange, it applies to apple and apple juice or grapes, any other fruit. In general, the whole fruit is a lot healthier than the juice. Number seven, kidney beans. One cup of canned beans has 607 milligrams of potassium per serving. Named for their red color and their shape, the European explorers first discovered this ancestor bean in Peru and spread the common beans around the world. They are a fantastic source of protein and fiber. The fiber binds to cholesterol molecules in the gut and prevents reabsorption of cholesterol, decreasing the bad cholesterol, the LDL. And they have a low glycemic index, meaning they don't cause big spikes in uh, blood sugar when you eat them. So they're good for diabetics and pre-diabetics. Like most beans, kidney beans can cause some gas. And uh, if you're cooking dried beans, there's the hot soak method that may be best for reducing the compounds that are causing the gas, or you can soak them overnight as well. Number six, potatoes. One medium-sized baked flesh only has 610 milligrams of potassium per serving. Of all the vegetables Americans eat, potatoes are among the most popular. The average American eats about 55 pounds of potatoes a year. Is it okay? 
to say yes to potatoes regarding your health, they are often misunderstood and can be part of a healthy diet. Don't fry them, bake them or roast them. And are potatoes a vegetable or a starch? They are put in a starchy vegetable category like uh, sweet potatoes, lentils and beans. They have a lot of fiber and other nutrients. Uh, to get the full nutrition, don't fry them. Don't peel your potatoes either. The skin has half of the potatoes fiber content and many of its nutrients. Number five, uh, raisins, half a cup has 600 milligrams of potassium per serving. These sweet treats have surprised healthy benefits and they are rich in dietary fiber, which contributes to their prebiotic effect and also a good source of iron, magnesium, vitamins A, B, C, D, and K. They lower your blood pressure. Raisins possess a low to moderate glycemic index, which makes them a healthy snack and may reduce your appetite. In addition, raisins are good for oral health. They have antibacterial activity, low adherence to your teeth, and they're good for the diabetes as well. And there's a misconception that diabetics will not take fruit. That is in fact not uh, true. And there are studies that show that up to 200 grams fruits in general a day decrease the risk of developed diabetes. And up to 600 grams of fruits a day decreases the risk of high blood pressure. Number four, prunes. Half a cup of dried prunes has 635 milligrams of potassium per serving. And the dried plums are widely known for their laxative effect, which come attribute to dietary fiber, but they have more to offer than you might think. The dietary fiber supports a healthy gut and reduces the risk of colorectal cancer. And they are also rich in vitamin K, that it's important to maintain a balance between coagulation and the bleeding. Number three, a corn squash. One cup of mashed squash has 644 milligrams of potassium per serving. This vegetable not only delights your taste but also offers numerous health benefits and high in vitamin C, vitamin B6 and beta carotene which supports heart and eye health. Beta carotene is uh, transformed in your body into vitamin A. Uh, it's helpful in uh, preventing uh, age-related macular degeneration and night uh, blindness. Also good for your skin. Number two, lentils. One cup of cooked lentils has 731 milligrams of potassium per serving. Are a nutritional powerhouse with a range of benefits. In addition to potassium, they have substantial amounts of protein, second only to soybeans. They may be a substitute for red meat and are gluten free, ideal for people who have celiac disease. There are other studies show the fiber may improve the cholesterol levels, lower your blood pressure, also decrease the risk of a heart disease. And lentils also have a low glycemic index, may help avoid and manage uh, diabetes, and they are a good source of iron as well. And keep in mind, there are other ways of lowering your blood pressure without medications uh, naturally. Uh, check this video on top seven ways to lower your blood pressure naturally without medications. I'll put the link on the description below. Drum roll, please. Half a cup of dried apricots has 755 milligrams of potassium uh, per serving. Apricots are not only flavorful but, and colorful, but are highly nutritious as well. Very rich in potassium and magnesium as well, and vitamins A, B, C, E, and beta carotene and lutein. And these antioxidants protect your body from oxidative stress, and they contain also a significant amount of uh, fiber. fiber as we said before, it feeds your healthy gut bacteria and may boost your digestive health. Apricots are a powerhouse of nutrients. Bottom line, apricots are delicious fruit packed with vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants, and they have multi benefits, lowering your blood pressure, improving your eye and your skin and your gut health. However, other healthy foods contain significant amount of potassium, uh, all the leafy greens, uh, broccoli, asparagus, uh, spinach, other fruits as well, apples and uh, cantaloupes. Here's the bonus question that I promised you in the beginning of this video. Are potassium rich foods for everybody? Absolutely no. If you suffer from any form of kidney disease, if you are taking certain medications that increase the potassium in your diet, you need to stay away from potassium-rich foods. Talk to your doctor before you change your diet. This could be life-threatening for certain people. 
Here you have the top 10 potassium rich foods to lower your blood pressure. And remember your health, your most precious asset. Take control. See you next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.